there and welcome to Fountain Maid Farm. My name is Savannah and today we're going to be doing a spring 2024 seed haul. Um, I've just got to take you to places, Baker Creek or rareseeds.com, as well as uh, Johnny Select Seeds. We're going to start with Baker Creek. Um, we're going to start with the free seeds. If you've never ordered from them, um, Baker Creek, I believe it's $10 and then again at $30, we'll throw in a free seed for you. Um, I've got this lettuce variety that I got. Um, I have tried this before, also as a free seed. It did quite well for me. I enjoyed it. Um, and then we've got this. Uh, it's a pepper, datil, uh, possibly. Um, it says it's blazing hot, so it's going to be tiny, but very hot. I'm not so sure about that. I don't quite love spice, uh, but maybe I'll throw it to sell or, I don't know, for my husband or something. Uh, okay, uh, next I'm going to do vegetables with Baker Creek. I didn't do a lot of vegetables this year in my ordering. I just didn't really need any. Uh, this will be my fourth spring, my fourth season gardening. Um, so I've got quite a seed collection as far as vegetables go. I'm wanting to do a lot of more cut flowers, things like that. I dabbled last year, um, but I want to go way bigger on the flowers this year. So that's mainly, especially the Johnny's order, that's mainly what I'm getting. Uh, the vegetables mostly just filling in holes where I've used up something or I realized I was, just didn't have something. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with peas. Uh, these are the little marble peas. They're actually gonna be a bush variety of pea, which I didn't realize existed. So from what I understand, um, it's a sweet pea, and I believe it's gonna grow kind of like a bush bean would, where you're not gonna need all the trellising and stuff like that. So I'm excited to give that a shot. Uh, we've also got cow peas. These are going to be California black eyed pea cow peas. I've never done cow peas before. From what I understand, um, you're going to plant them sort of like a field pea and then let them dry on the plant and then you'll shell them from there. Um, but that's going to be a whole new adventure, so we'll figure that out together. Uh, next up, I've got squash. Uh, this is the white scallop squash. I've never done like a little patty pan type variety like that, so I'm just excited to add that to my collection. Have all the colors and things. Um, okay, next we're doing broccoli. I just, I ran out of broccoli seeds, so I grabbed some broccoli. This is the early purple sprouting broccoli. Um, I wanted to give a sprouting broccoli a try, just because um, I don't have the best luck with the big heads. Our springs are very, very short, and our falls are as well. Um, I'm here in Western North Carolina, in zone 7B. Um, so I just wanted to try the sprouting broccoli, see if I had better luck. I also grabbed a um, Wotham 29 broccoli. This is just quite a standard broccoli. I've heard a lot about it. I just figured I'd give it a try. And then I also grabbed an eggplant, uh, an Antigua eggplant. I just thought this looked gorgeous. And I don't really have good luck with eggplants. Flea beetles, I know that's everybody's issue. I'm in the same boat. So we're just gonna give it a try, just for fun, for pretty, you know, we'll give it a shot. Okay, and then we're moving on to flowers from Baker Creek. We've got hollyhocks. This is the Fiesta time. Hollyhocks are so beautiful, I love them. Um, if you've never grown them before, they're a little interesting, um, whereas I don't believe they bloom their first year. I believe it's the second year they typically bloom, um, and then they'll be perennial after that, from what I understand. Uh, next, we've got the black trumpet. These just look gorgeous. I, I'm i obsessed with black flowers and that whole idea that flowers can be kind of goth and moody. I love it. Um, okay, next we've got the black velvet nasturtium. Kind of chose the color for the same reason. A little bit of a mood. Um, if you've never done nasturtiums before, they're awesome. They're almost a little bit spicy. Um, so I would say like a radish spicy, not like a pepper spicy. I've only eaten the flowers. People also say you can eat the leaves, um, but both a little, little spice to your salad. Um, next, we've got the coxcomb, the Jessica mixed coxcomb, um, or celosia it's also called. I've never done uh, the, I don't know if you call this coral or grain or whatever looking variety. I've only ever done uh, the more spike type, so I'm excited to give that a try. And then we've got the lace flower the pink lace flower. I just thought this was gorgeous and would be a nice like filler flower for bouquets. So we picked that up. All right, and that means we're on to Johnny's. That was the last of the Baker Creek. I'm gonna start 
So I've never tried Lysianthus before, but they look so beautiful. I just, I've got to give it a shot. And I know you need to start them quite early, so I'm trying to be on top of it. So we've got four varieties. Um, they're all pelleted, so they come in this pack. You can kind of see it's a little chunky in there. When I open this one up, I'll show you. It's like a little, it's like a little vial type situation, and they're in there, they're pelleted. I believe it's maybe clay or something. But just to make it easier to plant, I think they're like very tiny seeds. Okay, so this one is gonna be the Voyager 2 White, um, Lysianthus. Then we've got the Rosian 3 Brown, uh, Lysianthus. We've got the Voyager 2 Lavender, as well as the Rosian Green. Um, and I believe like the Roseanne, the Voyager, I think all those are just different varieties um, in their line of Lysianthus seeds. Next we'll do my two whole vegetable seeds um, that I picked up at Johnny's. First, we've got the main crop carrots. They're just the glow stick moonrise mix. I was out of carrot seeds um, and I just wanted some rainbow carrots. I've had very good luck with Johnny's as far as carrot seeds go. Um, in my germination so I just thought I'd grab some from Johnny's and then we've also got a pumpkin it's a specialty pumpkin uh, Mousquet de, Pre de Provence maybe you would say it French I think French heirloom it looked beautiful so I had to pick it up I love pumpkins okay next my favorite thing to order from Johnny's the whole reason I had to make this order in the first place is the pro cut series of sunflowers if you're doing cut flowers, they're incredible. There are some in here I've grown before, and then some I wasn't able to get a hold of last year, so I'm pretty excited. So we're gonna start out with the big packet, <laughs> the Horizon. Um, they are your typical sunflower, like exactly what you think when you think sunflower, that is what this looks like. Beautiful, um, and the Pro Cut series is amazing because they are pollenless. So customers love that, that they can set it on their table, not have that pile of yellow pollen it's always a winner. Okay, so next we've got the Red Lime by Color uh, Pro Cut. These are beautiful, especially in the fall. They've got that deeper kind of moodiness. Okay, and then we've got the White Night, which is a light yellow sunflower with the dark center. These are beautiful, in my opinion, for spring, summer bouquets. Not my suggestion for fall, but they are, they're gorgeous. And kind of their sibling, I guess you'd say, would be the White Light. So it's gonna have the light petals, but then a light center as well. Again, another great one for like a spring summer bouquet. Wouldn't be my go-to for fall. Um, next we've got the gold light. I've never grown the gold light before, but I'm excited about it. Uh, same with the plum. I've never done this one, the plum pro cut. Uh, they look gorgeous. I wasn't available to get them previously. So I'm excited I got a hold of them. Um, and then we have the pro cut red. Um, I have grown these. They're exactly what you think. They, that, that bright red. They're perfect for a fall bouquet. Just very moody, very deep. Absolutely gorgeous. And then my final Pro Cut is going to be the Pro Cut Peach. I have not done this one before, but it looks beautiful. Again, I'd say it gives me more of a spring-summer kind of feel when I look at it. And then we've got Amaranth. Uh, Amaranth, we've got the Coral Fountain, which is going to be more of the dripping amaranth absolutely gorgeous um, great as a dried flower as well and we have the love life bleeding amaranth again another of the drooping variety um, again great for drying great for bouquets very lovely um, and this is going to be a spike variety of amaranth it's the red spike amaranth again that deep moody kind of feel with the color um, and it's going to get spike instead of more of the draping <laughs> This is where Johnny's get you. They don't have photos on their packets or pictures. So I don't remember what this was, but I will pop a photo up here or here, hopefully, and we'll find out together what it was. It's called the Limon Jewels of Opar. I'm not sure. Okay, and so we've got Peridot Red Helpertum. Helpertum? Again, don't quite remember. I remember that this thing was pink and pretty, but. It's hard to know without the picture. Um, this spring, I'm hoping to do a lot more snapdragons. So I've got the rocket mix of these uh, hybrid snapdragons. Should hopefully be beautiful. Um, next, we have 
the QIS, I think that's a trademark, um, Larkspur Formula Mix. And I'm excited to try Larkspur. I've never done them before, but they look beautiful. Uh, next is our, it's a Gumfrina. It's the QIS trademark orange. And uh, Gumfrina are excellent as dried flowers, also fresh bouquets, but they can hold their color beautifully um, when they dry. So they are perfect for that. Um, next we have Status, again, another beautiful dried flower. This is just Johnny's pastel mix. Um, I've got some yellow, I've got some blue, and I just kind of want to add some of those fun pastel pinks and things in there. Um, okay, and last but certainly not least, we have got straw flowers. Now, if you've never done straw flowers, if you've never dried flowers, straw flowers are incredible. They are a perfect dried flower. They keep their uh, color beautifully. Um, they're also beautiful in bouquets. They're just very interesting. They always get everyone's attention. So there was a couple varieties I couldn't grab last year. I still have some left over. So we're going with the apricot peach mix. Couldn't get that last year. So excited about it. We've got the silvery rose. I just thought more of a romantic vibe. Um, we've got the mustrosum tall mix OG. Um, I don't remember what that, I'm guessing just a standard mix. And then the king size orange. And I am so excited about growing all of these this year. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.